Look, Look at me now, carry your trip by the leader. Uh, I was little homie, somewhere I took to the leader. OG, still G up. We're fucking live. We're here. With uh, Lil Spacey and Tusker. Mm-hmm. Boys, all, just all still coming down from that fucking empty room session. What a fucking show that was. That was incredible. Vibes. What a treat. Mate, that was the be- that was the biggest energy of any show we've had yet. With it. No disrespect to anyone has been it, but it's there was there's never there hasn't been a uh, empty room sessions yet that like asphyxiated the room and just fucking grabbed everyone by the throat immediately. Where the and the the boys, the production boys who were filming it, they're like I've never filmed it where everyone around me was also just up filming it because they were obviously just fucking loving it. <laughs> it's like, true. It was fucking incredible. It was incredible. Yeah. How'd it feel for you boys? Yeah, good. It was energy for me. It's gang shit. Just bouncing off like everyone around us and shit. So it's like, yeah. it was mostly energy, just great. great yeah. Vibes, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I like looked out because uh, obviously I played the lens down a million times. A million? Uh, well, yes. <laughs> Close. Com- coming up one to million one million. <laughs> <laughs> nine sorry, let's nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-eight um quick pre maps. corona quick maps quick, quick maps yeah. things. But um and then it, like I was just there just vibing even the sound check will vibe in and then I was like look out and there's smoke machines and shit. I'm like, oh fuck. No Dude, I was worried about the sound check because it was so fucking great. Because you know, <laughs> when a sound check goes really well. There's a tendency for the performers to drop the fuck off. <laughs> yeah, like, Do you know what I mean? And it's so I true. I've seen so many up. bands. And not, not just the empty room stage. So many bands, they just have a red hot fucking sound check. And uh, we were recording with a couple of mates of ours a few weeks back. And I was just like, oh, my God, that sound check was too good. This is going to be <laughs> fucking yeah. hard from here on out. Yeah. But it's fucking great. How do, is this the first time you've performed live since the fucking whole lockdown? Yeah, this, this is like yeah. the first. Oh, we did one on, um, so you had, I think it was the ISO Festival. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So we did that. That was like in my backyard. Like oh, cool. Just with the boys or whatever. And just made it whatever. That was like that. And then this. So this is probably the first. Yeah. But we, like we, we, we did a tour yeah, just yeah, yeah. before lockdown for what Still Trapping. Yeah, that was a Still Trapping one. That was crazy. But, um, yeah. Was Where'd you tour great. for that? Um, Wollongong, Newcastle, Melbourne, Sydney. Um, Sydney. Feels like Brisbane? a was there Brisbane? I don't know. Feels like a million yeah. years away. You can yeah, yeah, play yeah, those shows, huh? Yeah, fuck. Like, well, and there was show another place. And there was like um, was, there was momentum behind that. Like you guys were like you, you put some music up on Spotify, or whatever, and like, and getting played on uh, in uh, on FBI. Beats one. I'm fucking in the USA. J. What's his name? Um, April. Um, I, I read about that t- this morning. You're gonna play it on uh, Beats One or something like yeah, yeah, yeah. Station. So we had yeah, we had like even. I, that was like my first single what? as well. Went on Ebro, yeah. yeah, on Ebro. So that was like, yeah, man, yeah. You know it went on there. That's and crazy. It's like, and, then, yeah. and, so, and then all of a sudden, you read your name in amongst people that are your, you know, your the people who are your heroes become your peers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's yeah, a yeah, that's a much. fucking weird yeah, moment, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Because like we even did Fermi when we did Fermi. That was like with um, Post Malone and um, because we I opened up. Yeah, I was like like the start of the year, at the start of the year, and then um. Scissor, is this how do you say her name? Uh, S, uh, yeah, Scissor. S Z A. Yeah, she's Scissor. so fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she I saw her at Splendid in the Grass. She's yeah, cool, yeah. man. Yeah. Tame's done shit with her as well. She did that song with um uh with Kendrick Lamar on that uh, yeah, the Black yeah, Panther soundtrack. Yeah, 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 yeah Fuck, yeah, yeah, dude, yeah, it's crazy, bro. That's like the is perfect all, all pop the music of all oh. time. <laughs> yeah, 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 oh, yeah, 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 dude. It's crazy. It's so fucking. So she played. This is like pre me being in the picture. Yeah, just I was before, the I think DJ just before we linked up. Yeah, for real. Like How long have you guys been hanging out? What, like, what's your story, the two of you? I linked up through, um, I think it was through Johnny. Yeah, he's and manager. Had like, um, he's my best friend. We had a studio session. That was in what? Um, yeah. Marrickville, just once. And then I think we did like two songs or three. I was just like, we just made sense. And then yeah. just vibed and the vibes my G, my G. from the link up. It's just been, <laughs> it's been like this since we started. That's cool. Yeah, How yeah, long ago was that? Fuck, I don't remember. Like two years ago. A year or two ago. Yeah. Yeah, I was. I said I was just going for a fucking. He does him so hard. <laughs> Jake looks at me and he's like, "Ah, yeah, you got, shit, oh, you shit, fell in his seat with the weight of that. <laughs> this fucking loser over it's here right, in the black jacket. Right. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, it's we just linked up through his manager, and I know we just got along. I was like, I'm a. I was actually my drummer Spitty, who you met tonight. Show me space Like before Johnny or anyone Started working with him It was like Bro This guy lives in Sydney And showed yeah. me his music I was like 
oh shit, like th- this can come out of Sydney. You know, it's like <laughs> it's a growing. So like, this this what a lot of people don't know it's is like space is like one of the pioneers of like the whole new wave of Sydney. Like yeah. you, Manu, I don't mm. know. Yeah, like yeah. you, Manu, B Wise. Yeah. And uh, uh, you can probably say there's more, but like, more, yeah. but like, there's a lot of people there's like spearheading a, like, a whole. B-wise just like, They're just before us. So we had like. Yeah. We, we was like the next generation before. Yeah. That. So yeah the next generation. Mm. So it's, it's like, like before everything sort of um, started getting mm. pizza, buzz, or it, like the whole rap scene over here. Like, so. But when we were little, we, we was like looking up to B Wise and then. Mm. So then, and then all of a sudden it's like, we're here, you feel yeah. me? And then it's like, it's, I don't know, it's just yeah. shit you and dream it, it, about, you're yeah. just going with it. Dude, it's, it's, such a, it's such a powerful thing that's happening in, in our city that I don't, I feel like the rest of the world knows more about it than even the people who live in this country know about it. Yeah. To be fair. I think so too, yeah. Like it's a, like the fact that you guys, that you got played on Beats 1 before, and I'm assuming something here, but I'm pretty sure I'm right, you got Played on Beats One before Triple J. Mm. That's a massive fucking reality check to the music industry in Australia, mm. who's not paying attention to this really powerful uh, moment that's happening in our own fucking city. I, you know, like I'm so late to the party. Yeah. So and I'm so fucking uneducated about it. I like, I, yeah. It's but, but it's, it's, and, it's and we're involved in the music industry, yeah, dude. Exactly. Like I we own two we fucking live music venues. Don't you think it's because like um as far as Australia, like it's like they wait. They sort of get things late later. Yeah. So it's like sometimes they yeah, want to see success. The way to be overseas. the way to be told is supposed to harness what's within them. Yeah, pretty and much. Because it's like I guess everyone looks out for shit that's popping over there. Yeah. Yeah. Like for real. Before like, like, like Kid Embrace Laroi it. Or yeah. Or yeah. yeah. So it's like like, like small things. Example like even I you know Iggy Azalea right? Yeah. So yeah, like she was here for a while or whatever. Oh, but, but she grew up here. Yeah. Pretty <laughs> yeah. So it's like uh, watching that shit. It's like yeah. when she went overseas and when she took off there. And yeah. when you saw back home, yeah. everyone embraced it because it was on a different yeah. level now. Yeah, tall you know, poppy like, dream shit. I guess it's just like when you have if if friend who's really great, it's like you, it's just my boy. You know what I mean? Yeah, but then yeah, you yeah. can't. I guess because you, you're so close to you, or because yeah. you're just around your circle, you can't really see the greatness because you're not standing looking out. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, that's yeah. that's what I think it is when it comes to like shit. Like you know, it's like you almost have home. to wait to have that perspective of them being, you know, people. Like that's the thing is that so many bands and. You know, even you know, rap crews and artists in Australia will go unnoticed for years, and then they'll start popping off overseas, and then suddenly Australia will be like, "Oh shit, we didn't never rap them. Let's rap them all." Of a yeah, sudden. we'll yeah. rap them now. It, it was, it's like, but when you're popping off in Australia, people are like, ah, "You're not as good as you think you are." It's like the tall poppy shit. You know? Well, that's the Australian fucking way, right? But the point, I think, the major point is the fact that we don't even get on top of it while it's underneath our fucking it. nose. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, don't I guess like we just it, 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 the good thing about that is like you just keep working harder. Yeah, it makes exactly. you work harder, Amen. and then it's just like so if you you feel like you have more to prove, and that that yeah. just makes you go mm. harder, 100%. and you get better at what you're doing. So by the, by the time everyone looks at it, it's like yo, that's fucking amazing. Yeah. Cause I think it's so different as well from like the the what's coming out, what's evolving. You know, and it, one of the the major points it's evolving out of is Western Sydney. Mm. But you know, when you you look at like the story of of, of um, the 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 like the London fucking uh, rap scene mm. and hip hop scene, and then it evolves into its own fucking whole thing. Yeah, and it's so mm. different. I love on YouTube when you see fucking like uh, uh, Americans respond to, <laughs> to London. Oh, fuck, it's hilarious. Yeah. It's fucking first, hilarious. Look, the first buddy. reaction <laughs> video. The first reaction video. Yo, videos. what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, but you like fire, 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 fire. Yeah, exactly. But it's so fucking different. I feel the same. Like they they yeah. obviously got the same influences, but then they. They they become and then they foment and they mm. they ferment within their own little space of the world and they come up with their own sound. I feel like that like you're one of the people who's really bringing that new mm. sound that's identifiably, I believe, Australian. You know, it's not about <laughs> it's not like not Australian in the sense of like hilltop hoods and no disrespect, mm. but they're not talking about like like Aussie fucking suburbia or like white suburbia, like and doing a bit of Aussie hip hop. Mm. It's like this is global like. Sits yeah, in the global same shit. Hip hop, but it's got its own little fucking but sound and scene. Mm, That's mm. What it, for me, like hip, I, I, I don't know how to be transparent about this. I'm from like a 
we've spoken about this in other podcasts, but I'm from I'm Scottish cant from like a town of like two thousand people. You sound like you're <laughs> German, or but they're not even German. <laughs> 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 he's Scottish. But I was that was like a laugh for the camera. From the That's age good. of like for the age of like fourteen or fifteen, like I fell in love with hip hop music so hard. I think from the moment I got Sky TV and got like and started watching UMTV raps, I used to like hook my parents' piece of shit stereo to the TV and then tape record UMTV rap so I could get all the songs because yeah. you couldn't even buy them at the time. <laughs> like, I fucking, like, I fucking loved it. It was one of, most of, one of the most creative things I'd ever seen, and it was so, so different to my world. That I, and I don't whatever reason, this is why you fall in love with art, because it's the things that, you know, inspire you or you find completely obtuse to any sort of level or, or, or being that you know. And I like I've been a huge. I'm like I'm such a fan of like, and and, and I was read, reading about um, you space and like in the in the lead up to this and sort of you know and and your influences and and also how like hard working you are around it like it's yeah, you know it's uh, like ra- rap and hip hop trap or like whatever the genre is it's like you know there's there's an essence of confidence like fuck you, you just fucking listen to what I do but you know this to be a fucking great musician you you work hard you 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 absorb your art and you sort of like p- purvey your your part of that that like you spill it back into that world mm. and it sounds like you 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 fucking you you work hard mm. like you fucking you go to the studio you you put time aside to write you put aside a time to like plan what you're gonna do like it it takes that doesn't it to sort of yeah. to get to 100%. that next level it does it does yeah can thank you for saying that shit yeah, yeah can I, can I just say as like someone who works in space all the time space has like 50 60 songs in the bank yeah right they'll tell me one band in sydney that has fi- 60 songs in the bank not even not, not even no. to sound like not a like, fucking band we have like well you know they do this. always like grading to the point shit. where it's like bro you know when you get to the level where it's like um you know it's dope but then it's yeah. like you always want to just want to do better and so yeah. we, we yeah, end yeah. up 100 we always say leave the world better than you found it yeah pretty exactly. much or whatever it is yeah for a little and piece and of your world and, and <laughs> what i like about working with space you know just say like from a producer you know what i'm saying producer's pers- per perspective is like Space isn't just like come in, drop a verse, bail. Space is like come in, give idea about what beat you want, mm. then you get the beat, you know, Kogan. Because you, you create. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you You're create creating. with him. And then he goes, okay, I'm fucking with that, I'm fucking with that, I'm fucking with that. Keep it going. And then he goes, you know, he gets his he gets his melodies down, and, but he makes sure every single fucking bar is perfect. But then, even then, you record it, and you're like, okay, cool, cool, cool. We've got a fucking song here. Space makes you come out <laughs> to his house or whatever and Two mix in the it. morning. Because <laughs> Space Get is anal. Now. Space is the anal as shit living. about his, like, mixing of vocals. Space mixes be. all his own vocals. And, like, and like artists, I, love, I love that artistry of just, like, yeah. taking control and being, like, I'm not just, you know, yeah. I'm not just someone who has bars. It's, like, I, 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 I want... Good shit. And yeah, what? I want good shit. It's just, like, you look at all Space's, like, uh press photos and shit, you know, all your album covers, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You look at them on Spotify or whatever, Apple Music, whatever you use. I don't know. Amazon. <laughs> YouTube Deezer, music. YouTube. <laughs> let's go. Uh, let's do it. No, but you look at it, it's just, it all makes sense because it's like Space has this executive producer kind of mindset where he sees the total vision. You yeah. Know. I don't what, know. What breeds yeah. what? That's what, that's what I'm just saying. Someone who's worked with you is just like, what you is the, the bigger vision? picture? What's the big picture for you? Um, uh, fuck for me, as long if we can leave something like um, I don't know, great behind, and then and change like I guess our surroundings of how how I was sort of brought up and make it easier for the next generation, then I guess we've done well. You feel me? Yeah. And it's not not even just That's like as um getting enough money or whatever. Do you know what I mean? I just want like the next person to look at him and be like, yo, hey, fuck. Mm. This kind just did that, you know, <laughs> yeah, and that yeah. was another way to do that. I I, I could do it too, cause you, you know what I mean. Yeah. So just to leave that sort Changing of vibe, that energy, set. leave that energy into the world. That who that'd are the be awesome. who are the people that you learned that from, and and keep it as as wide as you want. I mean, go you know, um, go into America or keep it local. Where, who are the yeah, people that are main people, influences on you? I would say like for, for the skis are. I don't know. There's there's my, my boy named Big Skis. You know. So the man. Yeah, he, he he's like his work ethic is ridiculous. Like it's okay. Like he would just kill it. It's crazy. At, all the time. 
and it's like he'll kill it and not even know he's killing it. You know what I mean? So he's always going, and I'm like, fuck, look, like, look how he moves. Do you know what I mean? So for me, the people I look up to is mostly my surroundings or like mm. people I like run into or like, I'm like, yo, that's a great bloke. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, I'll, I'll, I'll grab something off like everyone I sort of link up with. And if I know, it, like, I don't know, if I feel a certain way about the way you move and I fucks with it, I can incorporate that in my shit because it's like a learning experience. Yeah. So like before, a, before looking yeah. up to anyone I don't know yet, it's usually around my. Mm, it's like, it's like, it's like and you, you don't always look to the generations above you. Sometimes you yeah, can be equally inspired or more inspired yeah, by yeah. the but people when, around when you, to, like when, your when boys who are on the same level. Yeah, pretty much. Because then that's why we, we're together. So yeah, the people I'm, real. you know what I mean? The people I'm with, it's like, there's a reason why they're there. It's not, like mm. we've already created a bond. The bond, it's like, I fuck with you. That's why you're here. That's why we do things together. You know what I mean? Because I look up to you in a way. That's why I, I keep, keep you close to me. You know what I mean? The same, probably vice versa. Yeah. He's looking at me like, yo, fuck, I'm hanging with space. But then it's like, I fuck with you the same way you fuck with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but when it comes to like music, like yeah. on some like great level stuff, like fuck, I seen study like Jay Z shit or like just Tupac. You know what I mean? Just people who's like, yo, when you see Jay Z, he he lived for a long time. So he's like, long, he's like, man. he's like in his fifties, and it's yeah. like he doesn't have mm. to, he doesn't have to create music no more. And Tupac you know died when he's twenty five, huh? Tupac died when he's, he's like 20, 25. 25, you know, but see, he's mm. like, and the no, harsh yeah, thing about that, it's like, that's a heavy impact, but he, he, he lived on after that. Yeah. yeah like his real. music fucking, it still affects people well, to it's today. It's here right now, right? Yeah, do you know what I mean? It's still here in the music. Still there. So it's like, you it's like that's, that's, that's the level, even probably further. That's where I want to take it with, with what we're mm. doing. And it's possible to do that. Do you know what I mean? Because it's like, they've already created that blueprint of doing that. Mm. So it's like, that's letting you know that mm. you're able to do that. You know what I mean? Because then even when you look back at it, it's like Jay-Z only popped off when he was like, I think 30, when he's fully cement. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then it's like, but then he has longevity. You know what I just heard, mean? So I just heard, for me, yeah. that's like, like yeah, he that's verse he did on Beyonce's new record that mm. it gets got released like on Disney and shit. Have you seen that? The, the Black, King, Black King, is King? King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've heard one fucking verse that Jay-Z did on one of the songs. <laughs> Dude, it's so good. Yeah. Yeah. It's just it's like, you do bro. get reminded of like, Oh yeah, I might be. F- I I released a fucking proper record, yeah. proper proper in a few years, and and he's been so spaced out. Mm-hmm. But you listen to you like, oh, you're still fucking Jay Z, aren't you? Is yeah, Jay Z? Yeah. Well, he's <laughs> fucking yeah. Jay Z. Same with Kanye. That's the level shit. I want to take shit at. Like, he's like if, that, if, or even further, because it's like, because yeah. I when I look at like you, it's like I look at you like Guru, you know, who used uh, to make the fuck yeah legit. Like, legit. it's like yeah, because it's like we're creating shit that it's like mm. no one's doing that shit, no one's exactly. doing it like that. So and, you gotta and, look and, at it like and, that. And that's why I love collaborating with Space, like as his producer, and you know, or as one oh. of his producers. Yeah, shout out I Corky feel, I feel like it, like the, mu- that the music was fucking excellent. Like yeah. the music was fucking excellent. Well, it's like I don't even think most of those beats were even mine. Um, we're more on the next. We we're like on the next wave, yeah, and, we, and like we, I love we, that we, we finished like a bunch of shit, like yeah. that. But it's like I wasn't really ready for yet. I don't think. What I love about space is that he's willing to take risks production wise. Yeah. Okay. And he, I, I've worked with a bunch of rappers and shit who like who don't touch certain yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like as soon as you start getting like, I love weird shit. I love. Weird shit. Because look at it. This is what it is. Yeah, if you, but it's if like you, as soon as you get a little bit weird, they're like, no, 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 you cut the shit. And you're like, oh. yeah. You, you, but you, like, you can't stay. All right, one lesson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think you yeah, can't. Yeah, as far as music, right? You can't stay into one lane. Mm, or, 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 or or if it goes to like a buzz, like let's say there's this sound. Really yeah, you don't want to buy into that. Yeah, because once you, you so once, go into that, once, you're once done, that you dies, your yeah. whole sound sound sort of dies with it. It, in, a, in a world that if it makes any sense to you, this is exactly why we do shit like this. Because like seven seven years ago now, or seven and a half years ago, Jake and I opened up Mary's. A fucking and burger joint, we mate. Yeah. Did you open Mary's too? Yeah, he's my boy. Oh, yeah, that's it's like the that's the hot duo. This is us. Yeah. That's why we're here. With a hot duo. Is Since there a camera there? <laughs> Mary's is the best burger in the world. <laughs> <laughs> a double, oh wait, a double Mary, is it the camera? Yeah, yeah. Double Mary's, <laughs> a splendor. <laughs> I'm mean, coming splendor. down off certain narcotics. <coughs> but this you is have the nothing point. else Not to live for. But this well, well, there's a when you're coming off every narcotic that's ever been created <laughs> and you have nothing to live for. <laughs> you have no hope, no friends, no, yeah. n- nothing tangible in, in the arms <laughs> reach to live for. You find yeah, yourself nothing. in the gold bar and you go, there's nothing left. And then Someone's you see hushy. a shining light <laughs> and it's called Hands Mary's. And you go get the double Mary's and you buy it <laughs> and you get the chips 
and you get the fucking burger and you <laughs> so eat it. Very kind. And suddenly, <laughs> 20 minutes later, you're a new man. You buy 15 strummers. You drink them. I tell you what, you don't need to buy no more fucking <laughs> more Mary's never burgers never after that. Like 45 you know minutes. Yeah. Shout out Mary's. 45 minutes ago when he said, I hope I'm not too pissed for this. <laughs> like, I think he fucked that up. No, all I'm saying is, but sorry. No, I, I, no, well, no, I'm the just point is, the point, the point with I'm a fan. Is, I'm a fan. Well, you got a fanboy in the thank house. You so thank you so much. And the, our, our <laughs> point was, like that, that idea of when you that open cat, something yeah. that has an immediate, <laughs> yeah, fucking right. This is the whole point. that When you have open something that has a, a level of success quickly and abruptly that completely changes your life, completely can affect every every like essence of your being. Of and and and, f- and Jake and I have always stood aside of that, saying that we never want to be the fucking burger people. No. Nah. Like that is not who it's we like are. It's like being the artist who had that one song. Yeah, we like yeah, guys, like we're we coming out with the the Biggie Smalls burger. Oh, dude. <laughs> what is Fucking yeah, what kill is, well, me it's now. Like, it's like playing pop the rest of your life. Like we didn't want to play it's pop like, the rest of our life, so we started we started disrupting our own careers by moving into different yeah, things that were 100%. hard work, fucking just you know financially not fucking great. But just <laughs> but we but we did, we did it because it, we needed to be we needed to feel alive, yeah, feel feel that up. we were given something like that we were evolving as fucking people and as, yeah, that's as what's business up there. partners and as mates and that's giving something up. to the yeah. fucking all that city, really right? exists. Mm-hmm. If there's not a challenge in front of you, your fucking life might as well just get wrapped up yeah, yeah. with a bow <laughs> and just fucking up. and and shelve it. Mm-hmm. You might as well just fucking shelf your own life if you're just uh, if you, if you're just willing to take. That's that's what perfect. You said evolve like. Yeah, you evolved to that, you know. What I mean? Yeah, it's constant. It's con- the constant evolution, and and also like the the realization of how how you evolve as a person Do you need some ice? and how to yes, sort please. of how to put I don't know like um, mix that into what's happening out with you. It's like you the world's changing, you're changing. So that's like a it's like two fucking yes, anyway, tornadoes trying to see. fucking collide. And how do you fi- how do they, how do they um, mesh at some point to create something that's changing the fucking attitude of what you're doing? Like it's it's pretty it's it's I think I want probably people listen to like talk about burgers music fucking you know hip hop trap like don't understand the the nuance of what these little things are to sort of you know pursue a change in what you're doing or pursue a fucking like you know to create a, an energetic evolution of that your little corner of the world mm. and what that fucking means and I think. Hopefully, with this whole point of these sort of conversations that people listen to it to, to be inspired, like you say, to have, mm. be, have some sort of aspiration about what, because they want they want to know like what, what what happens, what what, what does it mean, like w- what's your week like, what does it mean to fucking like to take the music that you loved, mm. to start making music, and then, and fuck then to with keep it. evolving the music, mm. yeah, keep fucking with it, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, it's pretty much has to be like a lifestyle sort of thing, yeah. For as far as it goes, like, well, for me, like it's like you got to commit, yeah. Cause I'm like, since and I enjoy this shit. Do you know what I mean, like I, ha- I truly enjoy this. This like, like I love doing this shit. Like, look at it. Like we just met, like tonight. Yeah, yeah. And look at us right now. Like we, we already talking, and and it's like, if if I wasn't doing this music thing, I probably wouldn't be. I would just be a fucking. Same with us. Do you know what I mean? So we'd be like, still working a fucking yeah, restaurant somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, as far as it goes, it's like this is for me. This is a greater purpose already. Yeah. We've, Exactly. We've already sort of achieved what we had to do a long time ago, yeah. and now it's just like fucking adding it up. Yeah, just keep on adding what it. Like yeah. What was the major? Building, building what was, the, was like? Was it <coughs> like? Uh, I know you, you you got kids, and not to talk about them, but mm. was it like the growth of the family life mm. that brought that in? Like, what was it about? The, wh- wh- what age? Where were you when you realized not just that you had a musical ability, but you mm. needed to apply a work ethic to your ability to make it happen? Just just from. Just from being with the fuck with, with my friends on the on the streets in really in the area, yeah. Because as far as it goes, you're mm. you're pretty much when when you, when you grow up like that, like with a bunch of like like young kids, yourself, you're young. You end up fucking linking up with people just like you, and then you start looking after each other already. Do you know what I mean? So even before family life, you're pretty much a family man already. Yeah, right. Cause, yeah, because you're. I got that sense, man. Yeah. I, I loved about tonight and, and like empty room sessions. We've had uh, a bunch already. And some, some, you know, bring some, you know, there's some people come along and, but tonight I walked up the stairs and looked in that, in the green room and I was just like, there's a fucking, there's a sea of people in here all mm. just so happy to be around each other. Gang mm. shit. And me yeah. and Tusker Gang were talking, I don't know, well, we both said off camera before, we had like a good chat. family. 
Yeah, if, it if, felt yeah. like For real. it was just family. Because yeah. some, yeah, I guess and it's like a different vibe to just like an entourage or a group of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mates. It was just family. there to be family. all yeah, equals, yeah. all equals. Because the perfect. That's the perfect thing I say. Like it's like you're already like pretty much um, looking after your family before. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because as far as it goes, like. Like my parents were working a lot, so yeah. they they used to and they went to Alice Springs for like a while or whatever. So I was staying with my brother for like two years or something. So he was working as well. So I'm a young kid. I go to school, come back home. No one's home. I'm there by myself. So I tend to tend to go out. Mm. Then I link up with like fucking other kids who's people fuck, look after. Yeah. You. So all of a sudden we start linking up on the streets. It's like we're 14, 15, and then you link up with people, and that's the same people I'm still with to today. Wow. It's like a decade yeah. after. You feel me? So we're still rolling together. So it's like we've already created that family. When did music you know I mean? become a part of that family for you guys? Um, always? Always. So as far as it goes, like music's been my family since before. Mm -hmm. Like so as far as that goes, like even when I used to go to church with my mom and dad, like I was playing drums in the church already. So music. Oh really? Your church Wait, boy? You were playing drums? Yeah. yeah. We used to play Sheesh. the drums like when I was little. <laughs> I grew up in the church. Yeah, do you know what I mean? So I was playing the drums, da 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 like every Sunday. Da, da. So then, then I started listening to like shit. Like other stuff, like I said, who, like I loved. Who, who I, I put you on the hardest shit? That I you think consider? just like when you were younger. When you were younger, my, who was like the plug for the hardest shit? Fuck, I would say, fuck, what was it? It would be just the boys when we link up with the, the boys. boys. The boys would they, be like, yeah, 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 space. The, 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 it used to be like hard. we were like, I was like young, like thirteen. You hear it, your, your your mate's like, yo, this is hard, and I'm like, yeah, that's hard. <laughs> and in my mind, I'm like, I reckon, I reckon we could do something way harder. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? So <laughs> that's where it sort of started. It's like, and I'm like, yo, we can match that. So mm. it became for, nice. I was trying to show like my, my guys that, yo, fuck, we, we got the same potential. We could do that shit too. Look at that shit. You feel me? So it went from that to all of a sudden, they was like, yo, this is, then they started repping what we're doing. Yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? And then even like even with the hoodie we're wearing right now, this is it says forty eight. This forty eight. Yeah, shit. talk to us about yeah. This. So forty eight. That's that's a brand. That's like that's the the, the two numbers for for Blacktown. So it's, the postcode is two one four eight. So we use the forty eight. So it's forty eight culture, and it says never above. Um, yeah. but I'm always beside you. So yeah, even with our handshake. So we it's do a handshake like never above, never below. Da da da. But I'm always by myself, and I got you forever. Lock it in. Yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? So it's like evolving to that. It's like that's us. That's something you can, and, and pretty much when I say us, it's like everyone in the world. Cause it's like, that's something for you to have. You know what I mean? Mm. So we made these, it was like, we could give this out to anyone. Where can we get them, those? I want we, one you, of them. You can get it on online, I can, go yeah. to online store or. Whereabouts? Or, what's a, what's a, what is it? Give us a it's quick just 48 culture. Okay, 48 cool. culture dot com. You know what I mean? So buy as, a website. you have to, cause it's like, this is, a, this is, do you know what I mean? I feel bad that's is it okay hard. if we uh, uh, can I so we can get online and buy one of those? Yeah. Or, uh, or you can or, or you just go on I'll put it down the bottom can, of the You can even book. go on, on the, like there's 40 year culture on Insta or whatever. Okay, cool. You can go just shoot a message say yo who do you They're fucking great. Boom, do you know but what I mean? But like what what a lot of people don't realize is it's amazing for a part of Australian, you know, culture, culture yeah, hip hop culture cool. yeah. to be repping the area. Like yeah. Yeah, like, like this is like, like it's such a positive a, story out of a this fucking is a, like, area this is that a big gets a fucking bad deal. rap, right? Let's, it does, let's yeah. be honest. Yeah, it does. Like Western yeah. Sydney, th th this isn't just like your fucking. Because I, I know, I know, I know that I know bad, bad shit does happen. <laughs> in, in Fuck, bad shit okay, happens ev everywhere, everywhere mate. Okay, bad shit's happening around the corner. It yeah. happens in the eastern suburbs, and yeah. you know what? A lot of the bad shit that happens in in the areas, the more fucking. The more woke or fucking the like yeah, privileged yeah, yeah, areas, yeah. you know what? Mm. They actually get fucking buried. Yeah. The problems get buried, yeah. and the problems from more fucking vulnerable areas get fucking shine on the get, light. Like they do. You and have the media fucked. there that blow it up. So as far as it go, we we I, I think we're doing well because it's like yeah, we, we when you look at like us when we come out, like you, you you get to see another side of where we're from. Like yeah, yeah. You get to see another side That's of that. You, like fuck, you can talk to this and cunt and not yeah. think. And it's, we, but, but I know for a fact that the media and shit like that, that when you watch, when you watch, it's, when you go on the media and you watch a certain thing, and, you, and you, you already think this shit is bad. Of course, like you, yeah. from you, from someone, f they feed you that shit, and that's do you know what I mean. You've already been fed that, so it's like, of course you're gonna feel that way. So it's like our job is like, I guess we gotta bring what we're mm -hmm. doing to light, so you can see another side of that and put. Well, put it's it's like how, like how does that? Because you know, Jake touched on the other like. So we, we have the lands and we have Mary's Underground and we have like two live music venues. But new, a fair few sort of like 
you know, Sydney, like Western Sydney hip hop fucking parties, or like whatever, like trap parties, all the rest of it. The fucking police are all fucking over it. No, and always. Like and they, they try shut and shut it down. They shut it down. We, we, we have, sometimes we do shows in the area. They shut it down before it goes. Before, yeah, exactly. it, before yeah. it even happens. Like, I'll tell you right now, because the, yeah. the police will actually turn up. This doesn't exactly happen it's to us, shit, but, we, but the police will turn up. We've always put it off of slightly yeah. under the radar. The we had one four come here because he didn't even yeah. fucking, yeah. Yeah. We, didn't, we didn't tell anybody we, they played well, under the yeah, radar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Space and I had two sort out shows with Hooligan Hefts. Metro. But they'll be in it. So we weren't even allowed to go to our own That idea of like, Knitting. Fucked. We did. We wanted. Yeah, they cancelled it. It's like I suppose we wanted, Jake and I shit. wanted to talk about it because we are like, as a stage in this fucking town, we are fucking welcoming with arms open arms. Wide fucking yeah. come and play. Yeah. And it's like there's there's the pressures from the outside world to to not let it happen. Yeah. And so there's a there's a there's, a, there's a muffler but, but, on what you're doing. Well, look like. at this. How, okay, so if you say if if the area is like bad, like yeah. that bad, right? So if you see them trying, if you see us trying to move a certain way, right? Yeah, we're trying to get out of that shit, yeah. doing yeah. more shit, system. and you're and while we're trying to do that, then you stop it. How yes. the fuck? What else can we do? Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Bro. Like, Catch you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, yeah. For you, real. well, you tell me this is bad. Okay, we say, all right, it might be bad. Let's move a different way. Let's start making music yeah, and real. let's go do shows different for places and, yeah. and, and shut it down the, again. Yeah, and then, then you go and block that. That means you yeah. want us to fucking yeah, stay that's track. Right. Yeah. That's like you know one four, one four. Think about it. How do you expect people to evolve? One four come from like a dark background, right? No, yeah, it's like so. You just want us to say like stuck. Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? Well, That's, I think that yeah. there is a fucking overarching na- narrative, right? That, that no, one hundred percent. That, that is. actually, it's you know, if you if you if we brought any member of the police in here to fucking ask these questions, they'd be like, no, this is not what we're doing. But the reality is, the actions and behaviours of them, for real, as a general rule, like there's never been in the history of Australia for the last twenty fucking years in music mm. a single fucking white band. Being shut down by the fucking police, yeah, for real. Yeah. and yet in the last twelve no months, happened, yeah, we right could yeah. both. We You're from like, out west, yeah. it's like, mate, oh, let's shut this shit down. Mate, we've yeah, had bullshit. in this venue, bullshit. We've had five fucking shows that they've attempted to do so, mm. and we've had to fucking do. And I, I think that those numbers, it's just a reality. Yeah. But I, like from an insider scoop on it, because I don't want to, like, you know what? We don't. I don't want to talk too much about it mm. in the, in a negative sense, because. You guys no. are doing such the we positivity wanna, wanna of what you're positive. creating and what we've been mm. talking about thus far is so much fucking beyond yeah, and yeah, so yeah, much yeah. more of an important conversation. Yeah. But uh, you know what? I don't want to. No, fuck, I don't we have had wash shows, over it either. We have had shows shut down. From yeah, we we'll talk police. about that, and we don't need to talk about long. We'll fucking edit whatever we need to. But yeah. the reality, because overwhelmingly well, for us is that's just we want more a power anyways. Story. We're, we're just yeah. going to keep going because that, that that's like fucking good. And you know what? We'll keep is. putting them on yeah. for yeah. you. That's how it is. Just doors are open. I almost feel like we try and bring that same like because I remember like there's a few shows I've had. Books with space and shit, sold out shows, ready to go. Just being like, we're gonna fucking kill this shit. Boom, you know, done. Cops, whatever, you know, like the hooligan shows and whatnot. Mm. But it's just like, and then they shut it down. But then it, it also reminds me of like, you know, the COVID thing. It's just like, oh, I've got this festival in two weeks. Oh, that shit's crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. We had a festival a couple yeah, of yeah, yeah. The Canberra one. We were gonna do Groove in the Moon and shit. Yeah. And it's like, oh, that shit's closed. It's like, <coughs> it's kind of fucked, but it's just like, a, as a person, yeah. you bring in this like act of resilience within you. Where you t- it's just like you know, with the Hooligan shows, it's like ah fuck space. We're about to play like a couple of sold out shows the Metro together. Mm. It's cool. We got this, bro. Boom. Mm. And, and then it's sort of brings you back and down. And just like yeah. COVID. Oh, Groove in the Mood. We're about to play Main Stage. Oh, bro, we got this. But it's, it's just like fuck it. We got this. It's like we'll we'll, we'll work through this together. You know? Even um, even though it's like it's it, like you it keep could be your a little bad. High. It's, it's a bad thing. It's alright. It's like. Look at it like it's, yeah. it's a blessing, anyways. Because now it's like we we could work on so much music right now. Yeah, for and, real. And, and sort of have like I guess in the studio, four, four, shit. yeah, four, forty hits ready to go exactly. for when it's like we're prepared yeah, and we can do real. like practice shows. We could do shows like these, and it's like it's it's still a blessing. Yeah, like for real, you have to look at it it's like, like that, yeah. and, then, and then keep and, and then you just reform and keep working. That's it. Yeah, but I mean, it, it, it also is hard to get that mindset, you know. It's like you, ha- you, you, you have can get to grinded stay, down. Stay it's hungry. Like you got to you got to s- nice surround yourself with people who are also hungry as yeah, well. It's so a beautiful way to look at it. Yeah, like yeah. No matter what happens, it's it's, it's still reforming. Yeah. But to, that's that's to, life. To, to to lay that cement for the next the next yeah. generation, yeah. Like, yeah. It's like whatever your struggles yeah, have been through, earlier, this is like it's still it's still gonna fucking happen. Because imagine we just stopped after after someone told you 
w- once someone tells you, yo, no, you're, 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 you're shit, you're whack. Yeah. And then you're like, okay, yeah, I accept. You're, then yeah, you're finished. You're fucked. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you're so finished. True. It's like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I guess you have to expect like downfalls with the with yeah, the roller coaster. It's gonna happen. Is that, is, that, it, is that drive always? Is it come from a from a from a young age? Have you always been driven in that yeah, sense? Like, yeah, from I feel that like I I was I was always kind of confident. I was very shy as a kid. But always confident and always knew I'd get there, mm. and just waited for my moment. Mm. Like, mm-hmm. how did did you did, did you feel differently? Did you just become at a moment and go fuck this? Actually, I'm just gonna do this. Or did you just were you, were you did you wait for a moment? Or like, uh, how, how nah, did you sort I, of come to that it, moment? It of wasn't power? even just with, for for me. It wasn't even just with music. It was more like um fuck it's this just being just yeah. Grown up in in sort of Australia, like I, at a young age. You know what I mean? Because I remember like the, in primary school, like I was like. Not, not no racial shit, but I was like the only black kid or whatever, right? Yeah. Did you so go to like in school in Blacktown? Yeah, yeah. I went to Blacktown South. So my first day of school, like I was the only black. Kid. No one looked like me or whatever. I, yeah. I, I didn't realize no one looked like me. I was just like, you You're know just what I mean? Going about your so fucking anyway, name. yeah. So yeah. I ended up going through some like some shit with with, with with a kid who was. He ended up being my best friend at the end. Do you know what I mean? So of course he did. Yeah, yeah. Of course, like, cause but then it's like from that, like in year five, like a fucking. He called me fucking, you know what I mean? He just said something. He called me the N-word, whatever. And then I ended up fucking smashed, like smacking him and shit. Good. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And then and I remember like I, I got sent home because of that shit. How yeah. fucking and shit that, is yeah, that? Yeah. And yeah. Get yeah. sent home for and fucking then, smacking yeah. someone in the head for saying that. Yeah. And then after that, it was like, um, that was the first time I fucking experienced like, I guess, um, fucking, I don't know, like a little battle in life. Yeah. 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 And do you know what I mean? And then nice. after that, like I went back, I think he went, he, his, his dad would have probably said, yo, he he got sent him as well. So good. His dad ended up telling him, "Yo, you gotta go get that kid and bring him out um, for dinner or something." Yeah. Oh, so really? I ended up yeah, I ended up going to his house. That's so and good. then after that, me and this guy became like fucking best friends and shit. Yeah. So that's and my dog. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, but no, from yeah, so from, from that was the first like sort yeah. of experience. And then then I realized like. Cause even that, I ended up moving to Alice Springs. Like, so it's like, Wait, what'd you, you do in Alice? What'd you do in yeah, Alice Springs? No, because my dad moved. My dad was working, so my my father worked there for like two years, two okay. years, three years, or whatever. So doing what? What's he doing? I'm he, my dad's a doctor. Oh, right? cool. So Take, takes mom does remote nursing for a long you know I mean? time. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. I, I had to move with with him because my mom was going as well. She was like, yo, she she's gonna go. Do you know what I mean? So we ended up going there. She told me we're going there for a holiday. She's like, let's go see your dad for. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, let's go see. Let's go. <laughs> Legit. Go there for a holiday. How was that? Only way she got you on the plane. She, bro, she's like, let's go there. You go see. We're going to visit him for two weeks. I said, okay, okay. You know, I'm, I'm, good, I'm there. Yes. I want to go see this guy. I've been right, seeing yeah. him for a while. We go there. And then I fucking look, it's two weeks, two weeks been been done. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying Bullshit. to ask her, I'm like, hey, what's Bullshit. And then, you know, she ended up enrolling me into school. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Like it was like two years you spent there, huh? Yeah, I spent like two years there. So that must have been well, like, cool. It, interesting. Well, actually, uh, I'm for me, no, how was it? it, it, it <laughs> That's a whole nother vibe. It's yeah, a whole how number. was it? When back then it was it was different because I was I was like What years are these? Fuck, I don't remember my G. It's maybe <laughs> no, like, what was that? Like in 2000s or 90s? 2000, no, 2000, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 2000. That's um, far away from the area. And then, <laughs> yeah, 2000, probably. I'm 08, an old I think I 08, finished, I maybe finished 08. school in 1999. No, so maybe, like, I think what? 08. So I remember okay. like, and then yeah. it was just like, for me it was, I think it was a nightmare, like, because I learned a whole bunch of shit I didn't need to learn. Like, I was like, because uh, yeah. they're working, I'm at school, like, and like, I didn't really, I didn't really fit in till like, like I became like the cool kid cause, cause of my little talents. Cause I could rap, dance and shit like that. Do you know what I mean? So rapper. yeah, yeah, no, nah, like it, it wasn't for me, it wasn't really a good experience. It was just yeah, learning. Yeah, I just yeah, learned, yeah, like yeah. It, it just made me look at human beings a different way. Like I'm like, yeah. okay, so like I'm a baby. Like you, when you're a baby, you look at the world the one way, you think everyone's cool. Yeah. 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 Do you know what I mean? You, you don't give a fuck. Yeah, cool. yeah. But then, so it just made me fucking realize a lot of things. Like I just learned, I just, it was a growing, you. yeah, it was a growing experience for me. Yeah, because I went through shit. And, there. and and how old were you when you um, moved back to Sydney? Probably, I think I was like fifteen when I came yeah, back. For okay, really? You know, yeah, I think that's I was quite fif- late. Yeah, yeah, I think that's I was fifteen. Late. So, but then um, and your parents stayed then. You stayed with your yeah, brothers. No, right? Yeah, th- so they stayed there. They stayed there. I think fifteen or a bit younger. Anyways, I don't remember the exact dates, but then they stayed there and kept working because I started getting like I didn't 
I, I was sad. I was like, I want to go, I want to be comfortable with, like somewhere I know people or where my siblings are, you know? Yeah. Because yeah, I'm yeah. over here and it's like, and I started getting like a bit of trouble because I was, I started ha- like just fucking, you know what I mean? Hanging with the wrong. People. You get bored, you yeah, fuck you shit start, up. Yeah, yeah. You know, no, legit. Like yeah, I'm, I'm real, in the surroundings like, where. What else are you gonna do? You yeah, gotta so, fuck shit up. You, you gotta mean? keep kids busy. Yeah, pretty much. You have yeah. to keep like so. You have to sort of pay a lot of attention to shit, even though when you think, yo, it's and, and, right. and music through that whole time. Yeah. Music through that whole time is like. Still like beating through your veins. Of course, like, yeah, because we'll record. At so that'd be apart from you want to come back to Sydney because you know that's probably something. It was fucking bigger there. there. Yeah, it something's was, it was, happening there. Yeah. So yeah. we were, I was I was in Alice Springs. We we're recording like I remember. There's this guy named Celesi. He's like um he was like a mentor. So he had a, there was a little studio at the school after hours and stuff. So yeah. we used to go to the studio record, and they used to have like workshops. So that shit was fucking. I guess it was building me for what I'm, what I'm doing now. You know, Bro, like so nice. yeah. So I was doing that. I, I, I got a question for you. Yeah, what's up? So, like, when you're back in Alice Springs, Alice Springs, <laughs> Alice Springs, <laughs> what do you listen to? Like, what's what's inspiring you? When then? Like, like, like what are people showing you? Like, yeah, back when you're then, living there as a forty. No, nah, back then I, I was creating. We were creating. No, but were people showing you shit? Not really. No, nah. it wasn't like that. Oh, like, so like, what's your, point of, what's your point of reference? It, it, it was pre- Mainstream shit, you hear shit on the radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And can everyone I, sort of... Can I ask a question? So you hear like, the radio and you're like, I'm going to make a hit. Nah, I, I, I didn't even think about it. No, nah, it's yeah. just like, I'm going to make then, a song. Nah, <laughs> back, to be honest, back then, nothing nothing on the... I couldn't relate to nothing on the radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. for real. Yeah. No, yeah. fucking right. Whole different yeah, there was story, nothing, bro. Yeah, it was Whole nothing I was... Story. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, I, can I ask a question? Like, but In terms of your influences, like, um, historic and, and, and more n- new, and like, as in, like, very new... Like is what's what's inspiring you, um, like American music or like or or UK, like because I don't like to be. Um, I'm not from. At, I'm not at this from moment, yeah. Or well, well, I, well, like, it, is there has there been a transition? Like, uh, obviously, there's American influence in in any essence of hip hop, trap yeah. music. In it, they get yeah, all yeah, st- yeah. all stems from at, the root. At, at the but moment, like, for me, I would say fuck Australian stuff. Like, mm. just but I. Yeah, for like, well, for, like, for, like our sorry shit. Sorry to not put that in there. Was yeah, like, that yeah. Was, that, who, that wasn't who, an omission. It was, uh, yeah, not at all. Who's yeah. from Australia yeah. is about, like, the inspiring you right now? Like, I told like, you. Like, give me five names. Oh, fucking, all right. <laughs> inspiring. <laughs> who, who Who's touching your heart when you hear that shit and you're like, I want to fucking have something to do with that? Fuck, I, to be honest, I'll say skis and, 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 skis and our shit. And what we're doing. That's Cause then, cause at the end of the worth, day, like, I w- no, yeah, that's, that's it. 100. No, cause yeah. how I look at it, it's like everything else is dope. Yes, yeah. everyone's doing their shit, but then it's like they. I feel like they look at um, they look over there, like yeah, they yeah. Th- they look at yeah. other shit, and the, they can know I, that's hot, so they try it. Can you I, feel I, me? If I can re- rephrase what what I yeah. uh, probably because obviously, and I apologize. But all you've said is I'm inspired by my. By my locale, for sure. Yeah. Um. I, spo- I suppose my fucking real question is mm. because I've I've got to really love it over the last few years. Is 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 the U- the UK hip hop grime trap mm. scene? Is that is that True. something you buy into? Like, is it something you dig? Like, I yeah, like I, I, I feel that it's become so much more insular to their community than it ever fucking was. Like and I fucking for musically I fucking love it, and I, I love it when, when I look at it, it. When I look at it, it it's mad. Yeah, yeah it's one hundred percent mad. It's like, it's their but thing. then yeah, so that's their, their thing. thing, and I, and I know it's that's lit. Thing. Do you know what I mean? But I'm like, yo, I look at that shit. I, I want to take it to that level for you. On. Yeah, so so yeah. so the world knows what's going on over here. Yes, yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? That's one hundred percent. As far 100%. even if it's not me at the front line who's who's shining or whatever, mm. as long as you know there's a whole bunch of great mm. people in this mm. little thing we're doing. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. So. That platform, if if I could create that platform and put that on, yeah, then that's that. Yeah, the, that's the, the that's task is done. Yeah, you feel the me? same with the grime that shit. Like that's people the look at the grime shit and be like, "Oh, that's the one and only thing that's going on." I just like because that's no. It's, it's, it's like, like, like it, it goes. Sure, we get your production style, blah blah blah. It goes through. Like we got it's a trend. Shit, there's, there's, there's a trend. The, yeah, there's, yeah, there's shit trend, called a trend. So at the end of the day, as far as it goes, like for the masses or whatever, there's always gonna be a trend. There's always a trend. There's always something that people just wanna. Yeah, so they'll fuck with it. They're jumping it for like a year, two years, three years, and then all of a sudden, yeah, dead. Like no one is talking about Dumb. it. Yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? And then, but Dumb then, shit. it's if you can fucking learn a way to dip into shit and just yeah. keep moving and always keep rising. Mm. Do you know 
Do you know what I mean? That's for sure. Do you know what I mean? It's it's about staying true to who you are as an artist. This is this sort of no, no. no, It's just like your space as an artist. You stay true to who you are. You only ever say things that like are relevant to who you are as an artist. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's like oh, I like today. I'm a little bit into like you know grime shit. You know, you dip into that shit. It's like you do a little like grime inspired beat. Blah blah blah. Keep going, but you keep like. Sticking on your path, you know it's what I'm saying? There's, there's, there's nothing wrong with yeah. working. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just like it's just with like other people or with, with working with other yeah, yeah, styles. Real, there's nothing wrong with creating. Yeah. You, you should yeah, always want to create. Never there's creating. always gonna Never, be some yeah. weird shit going on. But then always remember like what you're doing as well. Like always stay sort of focused to what you're doing and always keep yeah, facts. keep yeah. keep keep trying to master your your, your yeah. craft. Like because that's sure. a, that makes you a better a better artist, a better person. Like not even just with music, with just yourself. How yeah. much? How you much of your time do you spend writing? Nowadays, I don't really write. Like, no, no, making bars. No, no, no. I, I mean, I ask writing. Mean like, I mean, like writing, writing, write, not, yeah, like writing. Oh, so not physically writing, because sometimes, sometimes he he he'll be making the beat, and I'm and I'm writing shit in my mind. So to write in your so, on yeah, sort of, and, and I'm wow. trying to, to fucking writing, yeah, man. but it's not physically. But I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. He's doing this shit, and then I'm like, yo, hey, fuck, and I and I'll be. Mumbling this shit or the, the, the shit is going on in my mind, and then then I'll tell him, "Yo, hey, he this," and I'll say it to him. Maybe then good. so I pretty much <laughs> wrote good. it by speaking it. Really? You know what I mean? Yeah. So then then I say, "Let me try it," and then you just put the mic on, and I'll try that, you know. And then we will leave that, and then then you know what I mean. And it just so that's that's a form of writing for me. Yeah. Now, yeah. now times, Facts. and then sometimes I do sit there and and, and and I'll write it so I don't forget the the the, the vibe I'm on, sort of thing. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. That's a it's a wild fucking. I, I love hearing the way pe- different people write, and especially the way that certain situations have changed the way they write. Like some bands write as a group, some bands someone brings in whole That's idea, you know, and they just fucking tell you exactly. They they yeah. said they're the band leader. And they go, I've written this song, and this is what you're gonna play, and this is how you're gonna play it, and you know. And then other there's there's obvious like beautiful collaborations that happen. Mm. But it's an interesting thing to just kind of... Yeah, it's beautiful, man. Has it changed much for you? Did you start by, like, writing everything from the start and then kind of delivering it to producers and then bringing their lyrics to it? Or was it has it always been collaboration for yeah. you? Nah, at first it was like... You know how you go from a stage where you... um <laughs> Where you sort of... It's just you in the mirror? Yeah. Like, and you, you sort of vibe and, and think... And ask yourself, is it cool yet? Do you think that's cool? Or then, like, or you write, like I would write, <laughs> like a little bit. I get it. And then fuck, say, yo, this is dope. And then this is when you have no one around you, like when you're pretty much young or whatever, and you, you don't really have no one to ask about it. So you keep sort of practicing, practicing. Or even a verse would take like a week for you to write just a verse. So it went from like writing that whole verse yeah. and then going over it and then memorizing it. Then I know this verse, this is my shit. Then when I link up with the boys and I sort of spit it with them, I'll say, yo, hey, let it And then they're like, yeah, 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 that's dope. Do you know what I mean? So that's so cool. From, yeah, so from there, that's even before the studio, you know. And then eventually, it, it yeah. went from that to I started writing like with um producers or whatever. After like doing my own shit, then and then you hear it back and it's like fuck. I don't What's really it like the difference between writing like beats by yourself and then having someone some, else, someone else completely from a different mindset? Well, like what breeds what? That's what I was thinking. That what what breeds what? Does the lyric breed? Feeling or does a song breed lyrics or how does it? Yeah, it, what, what it comes works first? both ways. The beat or the fucking. It, it <laughs> yeah. works both ways. So you, you might hear some a beat that makes you feel a sort of way. Yeah, and then all of a sudden it you have all the feeling. Yeah, yeah, and then it's like from that one emotion you have like a whole verse just ready to go. Yeah, you got to put. Yeah, you know, and then sometimes you might have like this one word where it's like ah, <laughs> Tell that yeah. to the and you say that, and then all of a sudden it's like mm, and then. Then a beat starts getting made, and then you make it around that. You know, it just—I guess it's just a vibe. That's no, but yeah. it's usually just a vibe yeah. around like. Me. But, but most of the times, like I would have like a sound in my mind, and I link up with him. I say, "Yo, hey, sh- try this," and then he—he's a beast. So then he would just already have like a little fucking thing going, and then from he's that an obvious beast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like no, legit, like and it would go Such like it would go it would go. And he does his shit in like fucking five minutes yeah. or even yeah. less. Like it's like it's laid out. And I'll say and I and I'll think of some shit. Hey, yeah. Uh, and he's like, yeah. That this that's the sound. Like it's like 
and then, so cool. and then and then it's fucking yeah, then it's, it's going yeah. wild. So my mind is like fucking through this, yeah. and then this kind is like it's fucking crazy. I don't know. Yeah, you gotta yeah, see. Yeah. One day we gotta do like a vlog where we. You do have to work. Trust yeah. me. Like, can we go, come do a podcast from yeah, the studio one day? Do you that. do a podcast. Just look at the I'm way the, he works. Because I would crazy. say he, as far as for the the, the 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 sound, like creating the beat, this kind, mm. him and, and and the corky guys, yeah, and, and, and Peter and that Peter and Tom. So corky, that's the the producers I've been working with. Yeah, so my boy. Yeah, actually working with. And then I have another guy in New Zealand who, like, sent me a whole bunch of beats. Who is crazy. But then working with someone in in a room and you see them work, mm. where it's like, yeah, yo, see you're the actually, passion yeah, almost, yeah. You know, yeah. So why, yeah, no, so why sit I, I, on so much music? Who? Like, I mean, you said at the start that you that the you guys are sitting on a fucking bunch of music, a like, lot, yeah, why, like why, why, why isn't it in the world yet? What do you oh, have to say? I don't know. I don't know. It's just like but the it's way like things go. It's just like... I hope you're you not listening nah, it's to really managers telling you about time. No, 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 no. no, no, no. He's got to put it, it, it out. No, because, oh, like I look at this. It's, I, I, I think it's... Not not to brag nothing. It's like... Like bangers. I like like you brag. have like... No, so you have Yeah, you have like 20, 20, 20, 20 bangers. Like 20 hits, right? Like raps. Like heavy. Yeah, and then facts. it's like... Fuck, how do I... <laughs> that shit can go. This can go. Yeah. This can... <laughs> Which one do we put out first? So we haven't got the chance to sort of sit that's down and say, yeah. "That's the plan." Yeah, when it comes to be creating a plan. Yeah, so we haven't, we haven't for longevity. Yeah, 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 we haven't. There's never been a time where it's like we sat down together and say, "All right, yeah. look, bro, let's let's push this out." Yeah, let's push that one out. But I'm this, telling you, there's all. Yeah, sorry. Do you think this? No, no, sorry, I was just gonna say, do you think this is still the place for albums? Like in in the way people consume music now, mm, that's like a great as in like question. you could you can put out a song with like two two other two other like a. Well, we will still refer to them as like B and C sides, whatever. But mm-hmm, like you mm-hmm. can still you can do a, a tiny a little EP, yeah. and you can just keep releasing them through yeah, yeah. streaming. It's crazy. Like you, you say still, that, that there's a what place you say? for albums. One and uh, like a one side disc and another side. Yeah. Those things. Yeah. 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 What, thing was talking that's about where, that. Before. That's where sing, singles were always based. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, and when you go back to the the bands that you loved, mm. there was always like the A side, the B side. And there was always two or three like tracks. Bef- on that each that side. was before the internet, yeah. Yeah, fucking right. Yeah, and yeah. It's, well, even CDs sort of still sort of is a thing, yeah, because it was like the A and B or, or the EP release. Yeah, yeah. But the, is there a place? Do you think I, there's I, a I place believe for an album? Because yes, you could obviously is. bring an album tomorrow with twenty three tracks on yeah. it. Yeah. Or do you just do like I, do you I, just do like seven releases of like four? The five thing tracks is, you, for the I, next two years. As far as like I think artists and stuff like that. You still can do that. They're just worried yeah. about not getting enough plays. Yeah, that's why they're taking yeah. the safe route. Facts. So as far it's funny the safe route is now not releasing a fucking album. Yeah. So for for me, well, it's selling tickets because as you make money, now you yeah, can't yeah. sell fucking so, tickets to a show. So they're not. Th- no one's really thinking about the 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 um the art or whatever. So as far as it goes, you still can do that. I I reckon. But for me, I was like, yo, we'll put out a whole singles first. Let's create a little buzz. Yeah, maybe when a we hell get of a buzz. yeah when we, we create more buzz, then it's like we have people who are, they're paying attention, and yeah. we can give them more shit. Because yes. at the end of the day, you don't want to be, you don't want to release great music, and then there's not enough people understanding well, it. Well, that's, that's that's that's, that's that where like, it goes. That was yeah. like the rise of that SoundCloud rapper, mm-hmm. not the sound, but the va- like, but in the, the the idea of the way they the, the, that that the time. that mm-hmm. group of people re- re- released music. It wasn't like you know the sound that you know uh, the, that SoundCloud rapper movement. They would put a song up, <coughs> and they put another song up, but it was mm. never like but Jay Z's Black album. But I'm saying, it, you know what if, I, mean? it, I think if it was good quality, yeah, like dope shit. Then if they had like ten fucking bangers in a row, yeah, 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 okay. If they had the Black Rap album, yeah, yeah. So you know, okay. Jay Z's Black, they're sitting on Jay Z's Black you know album. They're mean? gonna fucking just go, yeah, you okay, well, yeah. <laughs> Nah, because then it's like, as far as, and, and I think we have so much music right now because yeah, it's like, we're, we're trying to perfect that Way shit. too much music. You know? And it's not, <laughs> way no, too much. Yeah. No, bro. And it's not just we one have vibe. so much music. It has to have a beginning and an end. It's not just one vibe. It's like, it's a beginning and an end. You've got to draw the fucking You guys got to get brave enough to release it. The, the, the song you said sounds I like, I want to hear it. Um, stick, stick yeah. fingers vibe. What's oh. that one? Even that. What's that? What's this? Cyclone. It's like you're fucking at the I, 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 I shared a massive band called Sick Fingers. Yeah. Good. And he lost his shit. And then we made a song similar to it. What is that? What like that? Trust me. It's like a fucking, <laughs> it's the most cheerful shit I've ever done in my life. Like, it's, what, it's like. But like, this is the thing. Yeah. 
Is he, he holding on? This t- like, he actually played it a Sick Fingers show at Kudos Oh, Bank. yeah, yeah, we did that at the fucking... Oh, you, 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 you played it with him? He yeah, played it after. Uh, they, they played after, I think, what was it? After yeah, um, Kudos it was, Bank. It was you were on before. B- yeah. Before, and then yeah. they played after or whatever. Yeah, it's good. That was crazy. But like, that was a sick shit. That was like... That's the shit that was like... With my boy Dante, I was like... That was sick. You gotta bring my boys, but it's yeah, that was you sick. know, I'm always about like that my there's eyes a thing. To another thing. My whole like, my wow. whole shit is just like because it was like a whole different world. Yeah, I mean, yo, this they was they like that they played that arena like when worlds collided in terms of hip hop and rock music. And, I mean, and I know you're not talking about Lincoln Park. No, exactly. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, my, my, my point my point was when Link <laughs> when Lincoln Park came out, I was like. That's the worst version of that I've ever yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. heard. Hundred percent. Imagine it was like a great. I mean, like, let, let's be like, honest. Like Rage who, Against the who, Machine who was a, a, is, That's who put the two one four eight over there. I don't know. Who wrote someone, that? I don't know. You see that? Yeah, yeah. I see the two one four eight. Man, this is right there. Is our, <laughs> this is our fucking naughty room. Big. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, that's sick. Uh, so toilet. many people see, doing fucking the, naughty the 4-8, shit. The four eight. The four eight. That's the four eight. That's the line. That's the That's how many lines have been done in this room? Yeah. <laughs> since we two, yeah. since we grasped hold of 2,148 <laughs> lines <laughs> being done in this room. There's Italian audience. Lines, lines, what? Yeah, lines, what? <laughs> yeah <laughs> cocaine, you can't. No, it's <laughs> yeah. This hey, is, no, it's I think it's, well, to touch on that for a sec, this is, this venue is a fucking, this venue is a fucking rock and roll venue. This venue is famous for the fact that Nirvana were booked here and never played here because it got too big at the time. <laughs> that, that's the biggest. What? Well, that's the biggest reason. Wait, 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 wait. Well, tell me that story again. No, no, no I don't no. believe it. No, no, they played Salinas. You tell me they no, played, played Salinas the over Lansdowne. No, they played, no, the, they played the Phoenician. The Phoenician, club. sorry, yeah, just down but the road. But this, yeah. this whole idea of like what, wait, what, wait. <laughs> what the land? Nirvana down. played Salinas over. Do you want Lansdowne. to hear the story? I don't yes, know. please. Okay, I'll no, tell you the story. So, our beautiful friend and the 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 creator of Modular Records, Stephen Pavlovich. His it's start the, the, was the, the, the he was the original. The Tame Impala albums. He's yeah, he signed Tame Impala. He found Tame Impala. He started his first thing in. Yeah. You on a phone call? I love it. Yeah, yeah. So good, bro. <laughs> um, um, so he started. He, his start in music was booking this pub, and then the next person the to podcast, book this pub. That's the word. The next person podcast. to book. Yeah, podcast. <laughs> The next person Sorry, that so booked this pub was uh, Jester Crew, who's now the owner of Secret Sounds and you know Splendor, Splendor in the Grass. Yeah. But when Steve was here, he famously he was getting a whole bunch of grunge bands from uh, around New York, and, uh, around the US, yes. and like Mud Honey, and he booked um, uh, Nirvana to come play, and then Nevermind blew the fuck up. And uh, it was a 250, 300 cap room downstairs at the time. And then they ended up moving to the Phoenician Club, which is just about 500 metres down the road. It's two thousand. It was a 2,000 cap venue and they just packed it and there's fucking cunts falling from the ceilings. And they said they famously <laughs> said there was so much, there was so many people and so much sweat <laughs> in the room that there was literally like water droplets <laughs> just from the ceiling. But yeah, that the, but that's the history of this pub. Uh, as far as the history is concerned, but what was ex- I think Kenny's where Kenny was going is the fact that it's exciting to us that all of a sudden nights like tonight <laughs> start opening up the fucking doors wider and wider exactly. to acknowledging yeah. that, that there's not just guitars and basses and drums. On fucking piece of this puzzle, we leave this. This we is the next this, step in the we history leave this of music venue continue. better than we found it. Yes, this is the point. Like this is the whole point. Yes. So we like we, yeah, like it's. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. That it's we we could not be prouder, more, <coughs> prouder, and more open to whatever the fuck happens yeah, in real, these. And these I appreciate you. I uh, appreciate the shit. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, also, if I may just say, we're really appreciative of the fact that you fucking actually took the opportunity to come and come say yes. Yeah. Facts. And no, Yo, you know, not you. just this podcast, but to play on this stage because, as Kenny's pointing out. You know, there there are bullshit segregations to the music community that exist mm. in in every part of the world. But mm. you know, fuck Even Sydney the is inner west star- or some shit. You Man, know but Sydney is starved of venues to play. Yeah, uh, and all of us, you know, for some reason, there's this divide between you know, like you know, hip hop and 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 rock. Yeah, and it, it, it's so fucking short sighted because yeah. at, at the end of the day. It's fucking serving the same master, which is no, fucking exactly. music. Music. We're yeah, all yeah, here yeah, for the yeah. same yeah. purpose. And, 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 
We're all here for the same keep, reason. Let's just keep bringing people together. You know what I mean? Hundred percent. Like, but you're fact, a part fact. of that because yeah. well, you know, there's been a, yeah. there's been as as many moments as as we've reached out, and we've been told no, it's not quite the right venue. You know, it's that's fine. But it's it's a huge step, and I just want to say thank you yeah. for no actually coming to fucking no play G. our stage yeah. because no it's G. not it's not been historically the stage of hip hop in <laughs> in this city. And you know what? I think you fucking just yeah. totally slayed and showed the fucking the no, truth of it, which is oh, it's fucking you. absolutely a stage is anyone. Hundred percent. Yeah. Whatever you and, 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 and like you. and like Space and I had that chat. It's just like. It's yeah, always no, it's like that's how you, you know you, you, you're like the Kendrick Lamar of America doesn't just like stick to one lane, you know what I'm saying? It's no. just like the the, the the loose basically of Australia doesn't say, stick to one lane. It's you just can't like say you're we do it, our own it, it shit. artists if you and just stay like, in one lane. You're it, not it, an it, artist. No, no, yeah, but the whole thing is like you gotta uh, you gotta appreciate where you come from, where you're going, but also where you are, you know? Mm. And like th- that that's where space it, becomes his own man. You know what I'm saying? Like, tell you where we are. Like we're in desperate need of fucking <laughs> of friends and allies <laughs> right now across <laughs> the music scene yeah. in this country. <laughs> we are in desperate need of as many friends <laughs> as, as so we all can. In creativity. Just keep linking up. In yeah, bro. Let's keep be very linking clear. up. Creativity to the nth degree. We ask everyone that walks into this room and to the into rooms like. Can you be the most creative? After a freestyle, like be the most oh. creative you can be. Like tell <laughs> us, tell us, tell us all you want. <laughs> we can, we can read. It's still gone. Yo, I'll cut, I'll cut what's up? <laughs> JC crazy motherfucker. <laughs> Shut the fuck ban up. Ban him from this. <laughs> <laughs> we get to ban him. No. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> um, we can keep going. Hey, listen, but we'll, we'll, we'll we wrap, wrap it. it up. We'll wrap it Let's now. Wrap but it we've, we've finished with two questions, or the we started wrapping with two. two we're finishing with two questions. The two questions we finished. And Thanks. so the first yeah. one, and you can both you can both answer. My G. Um, G. Please both answer. But uh, first question is, what's pissing you off right now? Right now. Not 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 in this room. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Coronavirus. <laughs> Lame. <laughs> 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 shit, like fuck, <laughs> fuck that shit. I'm done with it. I think coronavirus is gonna done. fucking I'm a done. lot of I'm done. Given, given the world it, a lot of like, health. As far as for me, like I, I have no really, I have no foul emotions. Like really, like there's nothing that deep for me to like sort of. Do you know what I mean? Like I think I just I'm at a stage where I just look at shit as like a learning experience or whatever. Well, the, I so the, the question drives as deep or as or to any point that's like what's what's not as good as you wish it was. Like wh- whether it's you as a person or you and your industry, like wh- where do where do you think this could be something that's only, like well, you, that's have, you, wait, don't wait, wait, you don't have to answer it at all. Like no, yeah, but I want to understand. What's pissing you off? Yeah, like, yeah. As in, like what's pissing me off is take getting my fucking kids dressed for school in the fucking morning. Yeah, yeah. Or it's like, or is it the restaurateurs around us giving yeah, up yeah. around coronavirus? Like yeah, yeah. it could be many things. Yeah, and, it's, yeah. and if you, you know, it's. The, like, but then you know if, when you ask me like I'll, I'll probably I'll answer it from a personal experience yeah. or how I feel about shit you know but then like I've been through that much shit like where it's like um not 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 much really phases me you know and yeah. I usually so, yeah so I look at shit like oh, fucking I look a fair answer. yeah so it's I look at shit a bit answer. different it's like if you can if I could go through like hell and shit like yeah. w- what the fuck is this nothing well, it's a fair answer you know what I mean? so, so let's go to question two yeah. let's go to question <laughs> so two so like as far as it goes answering that I'll say like nothing. everything comes and goes for me it's, it, it's pretty much a blessing you know what yeah. I mean I look at shit like yo if that shit happened then it's a blessing in disguise That's, that means I wasn't Honestly. moving right and I gotta fix I gotta adjust in the way and then keep moving this way you feel me Yeah. So that's, that's beautiful so, you know what I mean so nothing will really fucking yeah. make me Salty, it? you feel me? Yeah. So that's part, like that. part two from th- so that's respectable. That's a fucking great answer. Fucking answer. Probably so one of the best answers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some so people going to rant for fifteen minutes about something. I love In the I media. love the rant. <laughs> we're we're ranters. You're in, you're in the I'm, company. I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't go with I the buzz. Nah, 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 nah. No, 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 no. The question is not an expectation. That was my answer. There's no expectation to the question. The question is the question. The point of the question is to have a. Get a real insight into a person mm. very and you just gave quickly, one. and you just give it, and it was perfect. So the second one is um, is imagine yourself ten years from now, 
And this is a question stolen from another podcast that I listen to a lot. But the question is, I think, one of the most insightfully beautiful ones and it, it just causes a bit of a buzz. And it's... It, in 10 years from now, mm. what do you know about your current experience, whether it be professional or, or familial or personal, that you know you will regret or want to change? Wait, things that we want to change in our experience? From 10 years from so now. So in 10 mm. years from now? Well, I know it's a tough one. That's why we ask it. None of it. Yeah, that was very tough. Like yeah, so in 10, from really 10 years from shit. now, what, what – well, and that's fine. That's a, a, a fine answer. No, but in 10 years it. from now, what are the things that you're actively engaged in or you see around you that may, it may, it may not be something you're actively doing yourself, but you see as just so glaringly problematic that you just know is going to be on your fucking list of fucking uh, um, must changes? Right, yeah. Like for, for me, it's like, because it's like, I'm still like sort of in an area with like a whole bunch of like people, you know, mm. like that I sort of Pass. grew up with that. Um, I know for a fact if I don't sort of change the way I'm moving in a certain way, if I keep doing it for like 10 years or whatever, I'll probably regret it then. Do you know what I mean? But for me to realize it, why you ask me that question now, so I have an opportunity for me to adjust to that. Do you know what I mean? You're thinking so, about it. Yeah, so I'm already sort of aware of it. Do you know what I mean? If I wasn't aware of it, or of answering that question, then 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 I'm fucked. You know what I mean? <laughs> Ow! So It's a powerful answer. Yeah, so as far as that goes... And that's it. So I already know it's like that's not gonna happen. That's that's not part of being um the, the, the inevitable. Point. What's you know the what point? I mean? It's the point of everything you're doing. Yeah. So that's answer. why I'm, that's why we're moving yeah. like this now because that's it's it. like fuck we're moving well, fuck. this way and yeah, so so that's the ain't end. no one answered it yeah. like that yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> the way we're like moving so now, that's the yeah. So I don't I, well I don't know Jake's the man in the button, but without leading too much, I just would love to say this has been one of the funnest. Uh, I don't did yeah, one of the funnest fucking like uh, the fats we've ever done. Um, you guys have been fucking the performance is fucking amazing. I think we've got to know oh. each other like oh, I think we got to know each other pretty well at a fucking out of a stranger situation, which is the whole point of this. When when you sat down here, it was like was it an interview? We're like it's not an interview. This is strangers getting to know each other over conversation and how important it is, huh? And I think it's to been talk. A I guess mm-hmm. yeah. You know, how good is it? Hey, yeah. Look, I, I I went from like a phase where I wouldn't talk to no one unless you were a part of like my clique or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, well, and then gang. I started. You know yeah, so I, I started like I'm yeah. better at talking to people, and nice. it's actually fucking when you when someone else talks to you, it's like it brings another side of you that you didn't even mm. know you had. Yeah, yeah. just from that. Conversation. Relaxes the muscles. Yeah. Relaxes the muscles yeah. of your life. So, to sort so of like it's good to talk more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's good, it's to, good talk to talk to people and shit like that. Yeah, see, see other people's perspective on like life. Yeah, and or like music. And we, yeah, and we know. all we all feed we all feed from it. Yeah, we feed from the same trough to fucking make life a little bit fucking better. better than we yeah. fucking found it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like and that's and how this, it is. you know, and as 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 owners of a small music venue in Sydney. And is like one of the producers and greatest fucking rappers that fucking Sydney fucking has. We c- we couldn't be more thankful and proud of this fucking conversation. Yeah, and thank you, you know, so much. And for really thank you. Thank we you. should at, at some point come back again. That's all we can ever. Well, you know, I I, I, like I, I, I I disappeared for a minute there to go fucking take a piss, and I just had this <laughs> moment. I was like, you know what, we need to do. We actually need to make a regular fucking uh, thing of a conversation around what's happening in this scene. Yeah, right. let's build yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you That's know, fucking like, right. and not and fucking not just right. on, not just on the stage, fucking but right. in conversation and and to, and you know, play some fucking music and then talk about it and and bring those other people on and and mm. you know, you guys are, are, are you guys have got your fingers to the pulse of something that is so incredibly important, and it's really going to change the face of what not just what music is. But I, I fully believe in what you said. It's going to change the actual realities of the young people who are That's creating it. this music. Yeah. yeah. If yeah. there's one thing I took out of this, what? it's 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 a commitment to the future. <laughs> fuck off you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're whispering <laughs> fuck. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You well, listen. Get too drunk. <laughs> you, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's well, be very right. clear. Well, well, let's yeah. wrap it up. Well, You've been listening yeah. to The Fat and uh, well, another well, fucking... Yeah. And Massive it was fucking fun as fuck. Yeah. So and that's that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 48. Let's go. Ah. 48. Ciao, yeah. fuckers! Yeah.